will is important if you care about someone. So even if you don't think you necessarily need a will or some people don't like to think about death and that sort of bothers them, I always ask them, well, do you care about anybody in your life other than yourself? So do you have a spouse? Do you have children? Do you have parents? Do you have friends that you want to take care of? If you don't have a will, which is a legal document that says what happens to your assets when you pass away, uh, and you die without that, number one, the state's going to say what happens to it, and it may not go to the people you want to have those assets go to. If you have children, if you have a spouse, if you're single, if you have any kind of assets, if you have accounts, if you have a home, um, you're going to need a will. You need something to tell the court what you want to have happen to your assets if you're gone, because you are obviously aren't here to say what you want. Um, so it's important to get those things in writing. It is not enough to tell your best friend to go and take your account. They can't do that. Um, they're, they're legal ramifications, their legal requirements, their legal statutes, and so the best way to make sure that you have um, your assets go to someone you want at a very difficult time is that you get your will done. Okay. When people come in and do their will or their trust, we also talk to them about doing a durable power of attorney, a health care surrogate designation, and a living will. And those documents are only in effect while you're alive. Um, but if you, you know, are hit at a red light and you become incapacitated and you don't have those documents in place, then the court's going to require a guardianship be set up for you. Uh, and so the court's going to appoint someone to then make your financial decisions, someone then to make your medical decisions. If, however, you have set up a financial power of attorney, that person can take over if you're incapacitated and deal with any of your financial matters. Deal with your bank accounts, pay your bills, invest your assets, uh, sell your real property, you know, whatever you allow them to do on your behalf, they can do. Uh, on the health care matters, there's something called a health care surrogate designation, which is essentially a health care power of attorney. And that document then says, if I'm incapacitated and doctors say I can't make my medical decisions, um, I name, you know, my spouse first and my child second to make those decisions for me. And that's everything from medication, operations, diagnostic procedures, admission in and out of a hospital, rehab, any kind of medical decision. Those two are very important to have. If you have that, you can avoid a guardianship, uh, which is great.